Hello, internets. I am the Rifter, and this is my nightmare. Mr. Davis, I would like to address something with you. I'm sorry my wife cannot be with me for every episode, but you need to give us time to create, okay? She cannot be in every single video, no matter how much you want her in the video. And also, this episode is not brought to you by McAllister's, which you can't even see the label, and that's fine. But this episode is not brought to you by McAllister's. And if you don't know what McAllister's is, it's like a, um, I guess I would describe it as a salad, or not a salad, my God, I need some sleep. I'd describe it as like a, a sandwich shop. It's, it's okay. I had a sandwich today. It's like the, the King Club or something. I, ne I always go there and get like their fancy four cheese grilled cheese with like a tomato on it or something. But this King Club, you gotta be a porn star to fit that thing in your mouth. I couldn't do it. I had to actually eat this sandwich with a fork. It was ridiculous. It was like a, it was like a Big Mac from McDonald's. Like it had three pieces of bread and just, it was basically two sandwiches stacked on top of one another. And I swear it was like six or eight inches tall. But yeah, it was a pretty decent sandwich. I wanna give a shout out to whoever number um, 87, 88, 89, and 90 are. Uh, welcome to the Rifter, my madness. I don't know what is making you people come to my channel, but uh, I do appreciate it. 90 people, if they all actually watch this crap. Every time I put out an episode, 90 people. So there's a video, and it came to me on Facebook Messenger from <clears throat> one of my buddies uh, I used to work with, and it's called Batman Has a Dirty Mind, I think. It's put out by College Humor. Fairly certain you can find it on YouTube because that's mostly where College Humor puts their stuff out. The video is so funny. It's basically Batman, Bane, and whoever that chick is in a in like a scene where they're about to blow up Gotham City or something. You just have to watch it. If I can find it, I'll put a link in the description down below, but it's... <laughs> if you're not used to gross humor, don't watch it. But if you are, my God, I cried. One of my coworkers had a uh, had an asthma attack uh, while she was watching it because she was laughing so hard. I guess today I'll talk about phone etiquette. If you call me, why, why, why the hell do you want to talk over me? Especially when you got a problem and I'm trying to help you and I'm trying to tell you the next steps and you're just, you keep trying to update me on something that does not, is not, not even important. You know, maybe important to you, but it's not important to, it's not important to fix what your problem is. And if you want to make your problems my problems, which you shouldn't do, you need to listen so I can help you fix your problem. Don't talk over me. And I know there's like, everybody's going to call me and talk over me now, which is fine, whatever. Most of them I can just hang up on anyway. Waitress, refill. Maybe I'm just letting too much stuff go now. Like, I don't care as much. I think having a child has mellowed me out because all these people that get on my nerves, I just really don't care about anymore. That little turd last night tricked me into a cute photo, which, if I think about it, I'll put it up here somewhere. I fell asleep because I was trying to get little baby Rifter to calm down because he's been a little turd and he just he was crying and I couldn't I don't I don't know why babies cry because they're babies he wasn't hungry I had him sitting up because he likes to sit up instead of laying down so I put his pacifier in his mouth and and I laid my head on the pillow that he was next to and I mean he's a baby so he can't really hold himself upright so he just kind of he just kind of slid down the pillow and put his face up against mine when my wife was in the shower. Like she walks in the room and of course I hear the board squeak and I'm like, hmm? She's like, no, 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 no. Go back to sleep. I'm like, okay. So I fell back asleep and she took a photo of me. There's one thing I will say about being a parent. It is exhausting. Like, I guess it's the worrying. And it's really weird because you'll worry subconsciously. You won't, it's not like you'll worry out loud unless you talk about it. Anyway. 
Got two days off. I don't think I have anything planned but sleeping. I'm going to sleep so hard. And oh God, Game of Thrones. Fourth, fourth episode, four out of six. Game of Thrones, holy crap. So, for those of you who haven't seen any of the eighth season or not caught up, there might be spoilers. And if there are, I will put like a timestamp like somewhere here to, to let you guys know to skip forward to there because you know, I don't want to be that guy and spoil something. But, God, the third episode, I, I'm going to try not to spoil anything. The third episode, I can't believe we all know who it was that did away with who it is at the very end of the episode. So that was confusing, but I know you guys know what I'm talking about if you watch the show. That, I didn't actually see that coming. But I hear... I heard that this episode tonight is Kit Harrington's favorite episode, which you don't know who Kit Harrington is, is Jon Snow. And then episode five and six are pretty much just going to be a huge fluster cluck, and it's going to be a huge battle. Apparently episode five is going to be crazy big. A lot of people are going to die. So my, my theory, I, I mean, I don't know if it's a theory, but what I think is going to happen, I don't think there's any way Cersei is going to live. I mean... I don't think she's going to win the Game of Thrones. I think that Daenerys is going to try to kill Jon Snow with one of the dragons because he's a threat to her and the Iron Throne. Since Jon Snow has Targaryen blood in him, I don't think he's going to be able to be hurt by the fire. So she's going to be like, oh god. Which I don't know why she can't be clued in by that anyway because she already knows she's banging her cousin or brother or uncle or whatever and he would be immune to fire. I think that's going to happen, and either she's going to get killed, not by Jon Snow, but maybe somebody that sees it, and they're going to be like, hey, F you. Can't wait for that episode, because, I mean, I can, but I can't. My wife and I have been watching, we've been with this series for nine years, like from the very beginning, <clears throat> since my, my buddy, Micah, big ups to Micah, uh, turned me on to the series. We've been hooked ever since. If you haven't watched Game of Thrones, you need to watch Game of Thrones. Uh, you really need to get through the first episode. It's kind of dry, but once you get to the end of the first episode, you'll probably be hooked. I, I don't know how else to explain it. There are some very slow parts to Game of Thrones, but most all of it is necessary for the larger story. And there's there's a few twists and turns, and I will tell you this: if if you if you do decide to watch Game of Thrones or want to get into it, don't get attached to any of the characters, any of them. I'm not going to tell you who dies, but just don't get attached to any characters because, I mean, he kills characters like most people change underwear, and I say most people because there are some people that have walked by me. I don't think they've ever changed their underwear, and it's nasty. Anyway, super excited about Game of Thrones. Exc I'm more nervous than anything because I feel like I feel like we've seen these people grow, and, and it's kind of like I I, <clears throat> I don't know if it was my mom, but I know my dad was like really into Dallas back in the '80s when it was out because that was like the big show, and I'm like, this show sucks. How can anybody be interested in this crap? But, you know, it may be a good show. I don't know. I was like between four and five or... I don't know. He left when I was young. So around four or five, maybe seven, somewhere around there. And I just always thought to myself, this show is boring. But then again, I always just wanted to watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So whatever. Or I was playing video games. More than likely, I was playing video games. Yeah, I can understand now. When you get into something, you're just into something. So anyway, if you liked my channel, my video, you know, click the like button for the video. Click the subscribe button, and then click the little bell next to it or else you won't get notifications. You gotta make the little ringing noises, or the little ringing lines on the side of the bell to actually get notifications about the channel. Uh, click around for a video. I'm sure there's going to be one or two. 
and then my face will pop up somewhere for you to subscribe or you can click the little the rifter symbol down there in the corner uh, again i'm the rifter thank you for watching welcome all 90 of you 90 people <clears throat> i am almost one tenth of the way to getting paid for this crap so again share with your enemies if you hate them share with your friends if you like them holy crap there's a lot of policemen at that house uh thank you for watching i love you all bye